Flying machines are very useful. You can use them to get around if you're really lazy. You can use them in a lot of really useful farms, like this one. And you can even use them to bomb your neighbor's house. Oof. Dudes, what's up? In this one, I'm going to show you how to build a few different flying machines that you can use that are super useful in your own world. The first one here is going to be your basic two-way flying machine that you use in most farms to harvest crops. There's going to be a two-way flying machine with return stations on both ends. You want to start with two slime blocks just like that that are diagonal and then you want to put sticky pistons behind each one. You're going to put a temporary block right there just so that you can get observer facing down into each of the slime blocks just like this. Then we can get rid of the temporary block and then we can build off of these slime blocks right here. So we could go out this way, do weird stuff with it like that. But most of the time you're going to go out to the side like this so that you can take down all the crops that are growing right here. So let's say you had a bunch of bamboo or sugar cane or kelp growing right here. You could set this up to break all of that and then collect it all somehow. So what's going to happen here is we could actually start this right now and we would just put a block on top of uh, one of these observers. We put it on top of this one right here. The, the flying machine is going to go that way. If we put something on top of this observer right here, the flying machine is going to go that way. And what's going to happen is as soon as there's an update in front of this observer, it's going to put a signal down into this slime block, which is going to transfer it into the sticky piston. And it's going to push that forward, which is actually going to push this whole wall forward. And then these two blocks forward, the observer and the sticky piston, because they are attached to that slime block. When this all moves, this observer is going to get an update. It's going to send it down into this slime block. It's going to put it into the sticky piston. The sticky piston is then going to extend. It's going to grab all of these slime blocks along with the observer and piston. It's going to pull it towards it. And then once again, that is going to update this observer and then everything will keep flying forward. So I'll go ahead and show you right here. This is what a flying machine looks like. And then to stop it, you just put an immovable block in front of it just like that so the sticky pistons can't keep pushing it forward i like using furnaces because they're the cheapest option oh, i was gonna try with a melon but the melon doesn't work but the cool thing with the melon is is that you can actually put the melon to the side and it won't stick to it that's kind of besides the point here so now we're gonna make a return station and the way we do that is an observer just like that an immovable block which once again i like using furnaces because they are cheap you can also use obsidian or crying obsidian or dropper or dispenser i'm gonna use a furnace because it is cheap and easy to get i'm gonna put redstone dust on top of the furnace just like that and then a repeater with two ticks on top of the uh, observer right here to go back into right here where we're gonna put a trap door the reason why this is either two ticks or you can make it four ticks as well is that when you make it one tick or three tick it double um updates the uh, the observer and then it breaks the whole thing so you do need this to be on two ticks or four ticks for this to work. What's happening here is that the signal goes from the observer, detects when the flying machine goes here. It goes into uh, the furnace right here, which then lights up, puts the signal into the redstone and then goes into repeater, which then updates the observer um, on the flying machine, which sends it back the other way. Putting the furnace here also stops it so that the flying machine doesn't just keep pushing forward. So if we catch up to the flying machine on this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the furnace just to stop it, but then we put down all the same stuff. The observer, the furnace, the repeater with two ticks or four ticks, redstone dot on top, and then any kind of trap door on top. Now this thing is just gonna keep flying back and forth uh, if we don't do anything else here. By putting a lever right here, we can put it on an off switch. Um, if we go like that and put power into uh, this block and then we just make the trap door flip up like that it's gonna stop the flying machine we'll go ahead and show you on this side we put the lever right there let me go ahead and put power into the furnace i'll make it so that the trap door doesn't flap so that the observer doesn't get updated and then the flying machine will sit right here and just stay here until of course we send it on its way again just like that this farm right here uses a maxed out size of these you can only make these this long because a piston can only push 12 blocks 
which means that you can only make this 10 blocks long or at least use 10 slime blocks on each side uh, because then you need to stick on the sticky piston and the observer so you can make it i think it's 18 blocks total because it's 10 and then 10 oh no it is 20 it's 20 blocks long total from side to side and this is an example of how it can be useful in farms this is a sugarcane farm right here this is a kelp farm that uses a flying machine i don't typically like making kelp farms that use flying machines because they seem to break a lot but this is a good example of how you could use a flying machine and a kelp farm all right let's say you come out to the end and you don't want to fight the ender dragon yet but you want to get an elytra what you can do is you can make a flying machine that can actually hold you so let's go ahead and build this contraption and it's going to be very similar to the other one we built so i'm not going to show all of this okay so now this should look familiar this is the classic flying machine design and what we can do is we can put a slime block right there um then we can put a slime block right here um, on all the sides of this thing and then we can slime up and just to be safe um, I think putting a slime on the bottom right there so that that's two layers uh, just to be safe will be very helpful. Now you want to make sure that nothing else is, is touching it otherwise um, it can get messed up. Also you're probably going to want to build this higher because you're just going to crash into the first island you see unless you just want to crash into the outer islands um, and then pillar from there. So if you actually do want to just keep riding this until you end up hitting a city, an end city, you can put this a little bit higher, but this should work. We go like that. And now we are on our way. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I'd also be careful with this because if you're on a server and there's a lot of lag, you can lag through this. That's why I've put uh, two slime blocks underneath. I have phased through these before on a server when I've tried to do this. Flying machines can also be useful for other things like blowing up your neighbor's house or maybe turning his house into a huge crater just like this one. So all of these right here are flying machines. So now I'm going to show you how to build one of these TNT duper flying machines so that you can possibly do something like this. Once again, we're going to start with that same design where it looks like this. And then at this point, we're going to come down and we're going to make this an L shape just like that. And then we're going to do another L shape just like that. We're going to put down our TNT on that block right there. We need a dead coral fan. It can be any kind of dead coral fan. You can put that right there. We're going to put a wall right there and that can be any type of wall. And then this part is where it gets tricky. We're going to put down a detector rail right there and a minecart on top of that. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and put a temporary block right there. And then a normal piston actually works better for this part. But you can put down either a piston or a sticky piston right here. Uh, get power into it. If you're using a sticky piston, you're going to have to break the sticky piston before removing the power. And now this machine is all ready to go. Over here I have return stations. These ones are kind of janky. You can make them. They're the same exact return stations uh, that we built before. And these work one direction. So they're only going to work in the direction that the TNT is getting pushed into the dead coral fan so this one's only gonna work that way i'll show you what i mean when we start this it's gonna be a flying machine it's gonna go but it's not gonna do anything with the tnt but if we stop it here and we have it go the other way it's gonna duplicate the tnt tnt is gonna go down there and it's gonna blow up your neighbor's house or whatever else you want to blow up oh and it broke it did something i hope you did learn something new i make these videos to educate you guys and help you play Minecraft a little bit better. So if you did find value in this, either pressing that subscribe button or the like button, that really helps me out a lot. Cool, well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,